Welcome to Open House with Jerry Cornejo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And our topic now is something that could be a game changer, life changing, or a lifesaver for you. And uh, it's been in the news for decades, and uh, we are going to be discussing specific things that have been happening uh, internationally at Dito po sa atin sa Pilipinas. And uh, with us, uh, our guest now, we've had him before, and uh, he's one of the, he's in the forefront of uh, the fight against the tobacco industry. One of the main advocates of tobacco control, he's an MD, and uh, it's none other than uh, Dr. Yul Doroteo. Yul, welcome again. Welcome. Hey. Thank you very much, Jerry. Okay, Yul is the FCTC program director. You know, see, Ampang FCTC is a framework convention on tobacco control. Now, so uh, before we begin on our topic, which is uh, cigarette smoking kills, uh, let's find out first uh, what exactly uh, our guest, yung uh, credentials ng guest namin, aside from uh, be, aside from being an MD. Uh, an ophthalmologist, yes. Liba. Uh, what is your work? What is the FCTC and what do you do for FCTC? Uh, the FCTC is the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. It's a WHO sponsored treaty. So it's like other treaties, uh, mm. like trade treaties. Uh, the World uh, Food Organization also has treaties. Mm. Uh, the labor organizations have treaties. So this is a first public health. A treaty that's been oh. uh, negotiated under the World Health Organization. And it's called the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control because it talks about how tobacco is not just a problem for countries, mm -hmm. but it's an international problem, a global problem that requires a global response. Mm -hmm. So it was adopted by the World Health Assembly in 2003, and our country, the Philippines, adopted it and ratified uh, the, the, uh, the treaty in 2005. You know? mm -hmm. So we are obliged to implement the treaty, and there are several measures included in it, including tobacco taxation, so our sin tax law, for example, uh, graphic warnings on cigarette packs, uh, smoke-free public places, and banning all types of advertising and promotion. So I work with the Southeast Asia Tobacco Control Alliance, or SIATCA, and we work primarily to help countries implement the FCTC within the ASEAN region. Okay. Um, those who need more information on the organization, our website is siatka, S -E -A -T -C -A mm -hmm. org. Okay, that's siatka, S -E -A -T -C -A, Southeast Asia Tobacco, Tobacco Control, Control Alliance. Alliance. Okay, tandaan nyo na lang yun, Southeast Asia Tobacco Control Alliance, siatka.org. Okay, and of course, I can also go to FCTC to yes. find out on a bigger scale what it's all about. And uh, you know, it's a framework convention on tobacco control. It's the first time that a world body like the, well, the World Health Organization is under the auspices of uh, the UN. And it's the first time that uh, a worldwide uh, war, war to, eh, war to, guerra to, eh, uh, versus a uh, health problem has been handled or tackled by the World Health Organization. Kahit ano yata, wala. No? Mga AIDS, mga ganyan, wala yan. Ano? Wala, wala, wala. There's no other health, uh, oh. public health problem that actually has a treaty related to it. Okay. Now, why is this so? Bakit nagaganon? <coughs> is it, uh, can you tell us the facts about well, uh, the number of deaths yeah. attributed to cigarette smoking so it's, worldwide? Uh, very funny, mm. Jerry. Well, not really funny that you allude to war, no? Mm. Kasi, Every year, about 6 million people die mm. due to tobacco use. 6 million? 6 million. Worldwide? Worldwide. Okay. So that's about 5.4 million who are direct users. So you, most of them are smokers. Okay. But there are also those who chew tobacco or sniff tobacco. Okay. So, uh, smokeless forms. And then there are about 600,000 who die from secondhand smoke exposure. Okay. So, Ito yung mga non-smokers. Yeah. So okay. they imbibe the smoke from smokers and then they develop the same diseases and they also die the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a six million person death uh, problem and that's why we need to really tackle it at a global level. No? Uh, it's a pandemic and you, met, you related it to war because if you recall World War II, you know, how many people died during the Holocaust? Uh, oh. It's also about six million people, I think. Bo World War II yata, yeah. 10 million eh. 
So the whole world war. And that's too. the whole world war. Oh, and if you imagine six million people every year. Every year. Every oh, year. Oh, no? oh. Uh, people actually sometimes allude to an analogy of uh, three or four jumbo jets crashing mm -hmm. uh, every day you know, right, in order right. to have that six million people dying. But because these are people who don't show up on TV, who dies, they, they die quietly in their homes. Uh, many of them are invalid, disabled for many years. They don't really make the news. Uh, unlike, uh, for example, uh, Je suis Charlie, you know, uh, right, which right. made the news um, mm -hmm. because it was a very high profile, uh, violent event. But here, we see people who die every day around us due to smoking. Um, in my own personal experience, you know, in Philippine General Hospital, we have people who die from lung cancer, from emphysema, heart attacks. And this is every day. Uh, in the Philippines, it's 240 Filipinos, at least uh, 240 Filipinos dying every day. Every day? Every day. So that's, that's 10, 10 every, hour. every hour. By the way, I'll compute ko lang, uh, Dr. Yul. If uh, 6 million human beings die every year because of smoking, that's more than 16,400 daily, every day. To be exact, 16,438. That's 6 million divided by 365. So much, much, much more than just three jumbo jets. Walo, pitong jumbo jets, you know, crashing every day. That's how many. And masakit ito, Dr. Yul, preventable. Yes, entirely preventable. Preventable. You stop smoking, stop chewing tobacco, oh. you survive. So all of this, we're talking about 6 million preventable deaths or 6 million people who died premature deaths. Most of them, oh. you know, if you're a pack-a-day smoker, you smoke uh, for at least 10 years, you probably will die in your middle age, mm. and that means uh, in your 50s. Oh. Um, but we are seeing people die younger and younger. They have their first heart attack at a much younger age, yes. in their 40s. Oh, late Whereas thir 30s, before, it used oh. to be mid-50s. Oh. Right? Oh. Uh, even lung cancer patients in their 30s and 40s, those who are heavy smokers, rather than in their 50s or 60s, which we used to see 10, 20 years ago. So, and that's because smoking is so common now, uh, it becomes normal to actually see people smoking. Whereas uh, 50 years ago, you would hardly see anybody smoking. No? So it was abnormal to be smoking 50 years ago. But now you go out in the street and you see people smoking, uh, and it's not a big issue. We, sh we are trying to make it an issue again. Because you know? oh. uh, if we don't do anything, by 2030, the WHO predicts 8 million deaths a year. Okay. okay so so pro million, like million, eight. progressive. Pa yes. Ito. Uh -huh. So uh, just to give you, just to put it in perspective, huh? para madali yung math, from the year 2001 to the year 2014, 60 million people have died because of smoking. From the year... Para madaling arithmetic, 2001, uh, and then, sorry, 2001 to 2010, 10 years, uh -huh. 10 years ten lang, years. in 10 years, 2001 to 2010, ha? Huh? O gawin na lang natin since uh, 2015 ngayon, from, uh, hindi, basta in 10 years, during this millennium alone, 60 million have died, eh marami mga bayan, population nila, less than 4 million, less than 5 million, so can you imagine how many small countries he could have wiped out, ha? Huh? Half of the Philippines wiped out. More than half of the Philippines. In 10 years, ubos. At saka isa pa, si uh, Dr. Yul Doroteo has been in the trenches when it comes to treating these people. What a horrible death. What a horrible, painful, miserable death and extremely expensive. There's, a whole, there's a whole range, oh. uh, Jerry. No? So for example, patients who die of lung cancer. Mm. Most of the time, they get diagnosed rather late. Mm. Um, this is the time that they already have very much difficulty in breathing or they're coughing up blood. Um, their life uh, uh, span after diagnosis is usually three or four months, no, less than six months. Uh -huh. And then they're in the grave. Right. But there are patients who are diagnosed with uh, emphysema or COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary right. disease, uh -huh. like Dolphy, for example. Mm. He quit smoking when he was 45. He died when he was 80, uh -huh. right? Uh, or 80 plus and for many years you know decades he was oh. suffering oh. from oh. his disease so he right. would need oxygen constantly right. he right. would have difficulty walking uh, even just moving from a sitting position to a standing position makes it difficult to breathe 
So it's very difficult to live like that for years and years. So you can have very quick deaths, uh -huh. you can have very long periods of disability. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. And it's not just the suffering of the patient, but the family members are involved right. with the care right. of the patient. Uh -huh. There's the economic cost that you mentioned. Right. Right. Um, I read recently that um, Eric Kison and his brother, they're trying to raise awareness about COPD because of their dad. Right, wonderful. And he mentioned that oh. they spent millions of pesos Ex exactly. in order to help his father oh. breathe. Survive lang. Survive lang yun. Oh, oh, oh. So imagine kung yung mga kababayan natin who are poor, you know, the right. poorest of the poor, and most of them, you know, most of our smokers are among the poor. Uh -huh. You cannot uh, imagine them actually being able to buy an oxygen tank. Right, right. right. Or... Uh -huh. Uh -huh every day going to see the doctor in every week, it's almost impossible. You would rather die immediately. At saka, Dr. Yul, marami akong kilala, middle class families, who own their own homes, or, you know, middle class comfortable. Wala, they have to sell their homes, they have to, they have to, they get into debt, you know, they magsasangla, magbebenta, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the money that's supposed to go to the children's education, or, na uubos na wawala na parang bula kahit mga milyonaryo ha if you're just an ordinary millionaire ubos ang pera mo pag may magkasakit and remember this it's an addiction mm -hmm. and any addiction is a family addiction when one member of the family is an addict lahat kayo damay so sana magkaroon ng ano doctor yul sana magkaroon ng konsyensya or you know yung mga iba ito lang ang bisyo ko eh Pwede ba? Maghanap ka na lang ng ibang bisyo. You have one, kung sasabihin mo, pag or smoking, ito lang ang bisyo ko. Better look for something else because that's a, that's a deadliest, one of the worst that you have. Mamaya, pag-uusapan natin second-hand smoke. Yes. No? Because it's a family addiction that affects everyone in the family. Yung mga naninigarilyo sa bahay, bakit bawal ba manigarilyo sa bahay? Hindi. Bakit bawal ba manigarilyo sa kotse? Hindi. Di ba? But man, you are pulling your family down the grave. I can, I can see, ngayon, without a doubt, you'll meron mga nakikinig sa atin, di ba sinasabi? Oh, okay, sinasabi ko na sa'yo, tumigil ka <laughs> Well, that, that, that's a common story. Yeah. And lalo na sa atin, um, right now, about half of all males, adult males, mm -hmm. are smoking, uh, which is a very bad example for our youth. Um, we want to bring that down. And... One of the reasons is not just because it affects the smoker, but in nga, secondhand smoke. Siyempre, if half of our adult males are smoking, they expose their wives and their children. Mm -hmm. you know? If they're teachers, they expose the school children. You know, right. If they're uh, people in authority, it's not just the act of smoking, but it's the influence you have on right. others around you. Right, right. So when we come back, uh, we're going to be talking about something that's very, very serious and uh, very, unfortunately, very prevalent in the Philippine scene. And this is secondhand smoke. And by the way, almost all of the anti-smoking bans ang pinakapundasyon niyan, secondhand smoke. That's why you cannot smoke in theaters, in air-conditioned places, in public places. That's why you cannot smoke in many places now. Because, bakit binaban yan? Because of the findings on secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke does kill and will kill you. Kaya yung mga naninigarilyo, maawa naman kayo sa mga pamilya nyo or people sa opisina nyo. Hindi ba? Kawawa naman sila because uh, if you don't care about yourself, well, at least, uh, you know, be considerate with people around you because your secondhand smoke is toxic. It is deadly. You're listening to and you're watching Open House with Jerry Cornell. Our guest is uh, Dr. Riul Doroteo, Program Director of FCTC, one of, uh, and he's in the forefront when it comes to uh, the Philippines and Southeast Asia when it comes to the fight against the tobacco industry and tobacco control. We'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And what we're talking about now is the deadliest habit in the world, the number one killer in the world. It kills six million people. Six million people every year. So every 10 years, for the past many decades, and dami na pong namatay, daan million na. All of them preventable. And we're talking about cigarette smoking. And we have with us Dr. Riul Doroteo, 
uh, program director of the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. And uh, he is one of the few Filipinos, one of, a handful of Filipinos, who go around the world, and especially in our country, in our Southeast Asian region, para, ano, uh, to have a concerted, concerted uh, uh, effort to fight the tobacco industry. Pero ngayon, uh, Dr. Yul, pag-usapan natin itong ano, secondhand smoke. Why is secondhand smoke deadly? I mean, because yung mga iba yata, what is it? Yung mga iba ba hindi naniniwala? Or, uh, I mean, what does it take for them to believe na this is deadly? Well, um, most people before, you know, they thought that if I don't smoke, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. you know, katabi mo yung naninigarilyo, you won't be affected. Uh, some people also have the wrong notion naman na sometimes secondhand smoke is worse than primary smoke. Okay. No? Uh, but they're both deadly. Any kind of tobacco smoke actually kills. No? Uh, there are, according to the U.S. Surgeon General, 70,000 chemicals in tobacco smoke. 70 of them are carcinogens or cancer-causing, which means that every time you take a puff you know, and you exhale it and others also inhale that, then you're exposing yourself to all of those toxic chemicals and all of those cancer-causing chemicals. Okay, suddenly lang, 70 carcinogens, and all it takes to get cancer is one. One carcinogen. One carcinogen. Yeah. Ito 70, seven, yeah. zero. Okay, got okay. the picture? <laughs> all right, so uh, 70, ngayon, so, what is it? I mean, is secondhand smoke uh, equal to worse than uh, the primary smoke? Uh, well, the, the primary smoker, the, the oh. smoker himself, because oh. no? he inhales directly into his lungs. Okay. The concentration is higher. Okay. Uh, but if you're in a room that's full of smoke, oh. then it, it doesn't matter whether you're a primary smoker or secondhand smoker. Oh. You'll also have the same diseases and you'll also die a horrible death uh, like a smoker. Which is why we really need to protect non-smokers and even smokers. Uh, smokers who are not smoking at the time, at most of the time, uh, they are also then second-hand smokers. Mm -hmm. So it's very uh, disturbing when we see in public places people smoking without caring what the effect is on others. Oh. Um, it's quite fortunate that over the past few years dito sa Pilipinas, we have a growing uh, number of people who are concerned about secondhand smoke. Uh, the DOH has a uh, program right at the moment called the Red Orchid Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, an award that's given to local governments, to government agencies and offices that will implement a smoke-free environment, uh, plus also do other tobacco control measures. And that's growing, no? uh, thankfully. Uh, so, for example, if you go to Davao City, uh, that's 100% smoke-free. You cannot go into a public place and smoke. Mm -hmm. Same thing in Iloilo, same thing in Balanga, uh, in Bataan, uh, in Amlan, in Negros, uh, in Nueva Vizcaya, they're aiming for a smoke-free province. Mm -hmm. So, public places are growing where you will not see people smoking or where the government itself is taking an active role in telling people, bawal jan kasi na apektuhan yung iba, yung okay. kalusugan ng iba. Now, Dr. Riel, so uh, you, I'm sure you've been to all of these places. Ano ba ang, uh, among all the cities, cities na lang muna, among all the cities in the Philippines, ano ang pinaka stricto when it comes to tobacco control, smoking bans? Is it Davao? Um, well, Davao is one of them. I cannot say that there's one. No? Ah, okay. um, there's, oh. They're growing, no? there's a growing number. Oh, okay. um, Davao is one. And like I mentioned, Iloilo City, mm -hmm. I see their posts on Facebook all the time. Nanguhuli sila talaga actively. Sa Metro Manila, uh, hindi masyado. Metro Manila, medyo mahina eh. So yeah. this is a challenge to our Metro Manila mayors. If you really want to protect the health of your people, mm -hmm. not just your residents, but those who are working. No? Kasi there's a large uh, population in Metro Manila that comes into Metro Manila to work. Right. Uh -huh. So you need to protect the workplace as well. No? Which is why, for example, um, when we go to Naia, where the Holy Father is arriving, mm -hmm. um, we have smoking rooms there. These smoking rooms are good for the smokers because they know where to go, but they're not good for public health because the smoke exits the room mm -hmm. by itself. It goes through the door, it goes through the cracks, it goes through the ventilation. So all the, those who are around the smoking area will also be affected. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, those smoking rooms 
are sponsored and built by financed by tobacco companies. Many of them are Marlboro uh, yeah, or yeah, uh, 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 Mild 7 sort uh, of smoking rooms. Uh, no? uh, 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 and that's actually not allowed under the law. That's a form of advertising and promotion. So mm. these companies, to circumvent the law, they start selling uh, cigarettes in the smoking rooms. Um, unfortunately, there's no regulation that prohibits them from doing that. No? There's a Republic Act. Can you tell us a bit about this? Republic, Republic Act, Act 9211, the mm. Tobacco Regulation Act of 2003. Okay. Uh, this was passed by our Congress two years before our government ratified right. the FCTC. Uh, uh. So in a sense, it is uh, short, falling short in many respects of the FCTC. Okay. Uh, let me just mention something. Kasi kuminsan, uh, sinasabi ko sa kanila, if you're in a public uh, utility vehicle, you're like in a jeepney or, or in, a, in a bus, lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi aircon. Uh -huh. Pag may naninigarilyo, kausapin nyo. I mean, you know, be, uh, hindi naman confrontational, but tell them, Sir, Ma'am, bawal pong manigarilyo rito. Yes, okay. Ngayon, pag meron nagsabi, bakit bawal? Sino nagsabing bawal? Ito pong ikot nyo. Republic Act 9211. Sino nagsabi? Bakit bawal? Eh, meron na kayong sasabihin. Di ba? Republic Act 9211. Ipinagbabawal ang paninigarilyo sa lahat ng publikong sasakyan sa buong Pilipinas. And the terminals uh -oh. also. No? Oh, so, the terminals, yes. yes. Bus terminals, uh, you cannot smoke in these areas. Mm. Um, if you're in Metro Manila, you should actually call the attention of the MMDA mm. say they actively also enforce the mm. smoking ban in their area of jurisdiction. Uh -huh. So, remember that. Uh, pero tandaan nyo, Republic Act 9211. And if you have time, meron kayong internet, isearch nyo ano ba talaga mga provisions ng uh, Republic Act 9211. But take our word for it. You know, I mean, uh, see si Dr. Yul Doroteo and I for uh, some time, uh, we've been... Uh, uh, studying this and uh, basta isa sa, isa sa mga provision dyan is kasi mga iba talaga doc na nababara daw sila bakit? Bakit bawal? Si, uh, pa, ngayon, meron na kaisasagot Sir, ma'am, pinagbabawal po ng Republic Act 9211. Hindi na po ordinansya ito. Ito po ay batas, batas sa buong Pilipinas, sa lahat ng sulok ng Pilipinas. Um, just to add, no, Jerry, oh. um, the law is very clear dun sa mga public conveyances, mm. pati sa schools and mga medical facilities. Yes. It's also very clear, um, facilities that are frequented by minors, mm -hmm. bawal din manigarilyo dyan. Uh, uh. So, playgrounds, yes. uh, nurseries, uh. dapat supermarkets and malls, because these are frequented by minors, should also be 100% smoke-free. Uh. Um, in addition, since we have ratified the FCTC, ang FCTC as an international treaty, once it's ratified by the Senate, becomes the law of the land. Yes. So, mm. dapat ini-implement din sa Pilipinas yung FCTC, which says 100% smoke-free is required to protect the public health. Okay. Uh, ngay ngayon, matanong nga siya, uh, Dr. Yul Doroteo, exempted ba mga kasino rito? Hindi po exempted. Kaya nga, eh, pero nagtataka ko. You know, I mean, I, I was so... I was so shocked when I went there. Hindi ko alam mo sinong lalabang kalaban mo lahat. You know, because I said, tingin mo na, Sir, pinapayagan po rito paninigarilyo. Sabi ko, bakit? Wala na ba ako sa Pilipinas? Akala ko, hindi ba Pilipinas ba ito? So, how, why do they get away with smoking in casinos, Dr. Yul Doroteo? Under RA 9211, oh. um, some establishments are allowed to designate a smoking area. Okay. And some, some of these establishments, like the casino, they put a smoking room, like sa airport natin. Mm. No? Um, if we are to strictly implement the FCTC, dapat tanggal lahat yan eh. Mm. Ang problema is political will. No? So the question shouldn't be to me. The mm. question should be to our political leaders. Mm -hmm. no? Ang Department of uh, Labor, if they want to protect all of our workers, dapat tanggal lahat ng mga smoking area na yan, okay. indoors. Okay. No? Outdoors, walang problema as long as it's away from the public. Uh, pero nasa forefront yan, Department of Health. Department of Health uh -huh. should be leading the charge yes, kasi uh -huh. we are here to protect health. Yes, diba? Yes, yan ang uh -huh. mandate ng DOH. Uh -huh. uh, and then it needs to be done in collaboration with other agencies. So Department of Labor because it affects the workforce. Mm -hmm. Uh, Department of Transportation and Communication dahil nga sa public conveyances and even in the airport. Uh, the Department of uh, Trade should also be involved because they are the ones that give licenses. Mm -hmm.
uh, together with the local government. Uh -huh. no? So they can specify kung saan ibibenta. So for example, the law says no selling or advertising within 100 meters of a mm -hmm. school. Hindi naman napapatupad yan. No? Bakit? It's the political leaders and the local governments who are not stepping up. No? Kulang yung kanilang ginagawa. And bakit? Bakit sila ganon? Yan ang question. Eh. Bakit sila ganon? Huwag na tayo magtututuro. <laughs> it's your fault. It's our fault. If in our barangay, if in our community, there is uh, utter disregard of uh, smoking bans and regulations, ha? kasalanan na natin yon. I mean, uh, you know, we have to complain. We have to keep on complaining because the law is on our side. Ha? You complain to your barangay captain. You complain to your mayor. Ha? Paabutin niya sa office of the president. Ha? Wala, walang problema yan. But the thing is, we have to complain. We can't say, ah, naninigarilyo dun sa barangay hall. Oh. You know, eh, wala na lang. You, know, you shrug your shoulders. Hey, you are paying for the people inside the barangay hall. You are paying, you know, uh, so... Hindi, hindi dapat na, you know, it, I, 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 tama si Dr. Riel Doroteo na kasalanan niya ng mga local government units and all that, but, you the know, people, one, The people, the citizens need yes, to also take an active role in vigilant. the political arena. No? So, uh -oh. yung enforcement, gaya nga ng mga nag u turn no? mm. nakalagay no, no U-turn, pero nag u turn pa rin. Hindi naman kasalanan ng pulis yun eh. Kasalanan ng U-turn, di ba? And that's a citizen. And you'll be surprised one person can make a difference. Ha? Don't think that your voice will not make a difference. Magigay ka lang, sabihin mo lang, sinubukan mo na ba? Sinubukan mo na ba? I mean, did you ever go to your barangay captain and tell him, Sir, pinagbabawal po ito ng batas. Ano na naman yan? Kaya tandaan nyo, Republic Act 9211 po. You know, if anyone smoking in your barangay hall, di ba? Kahit ang barangay captain, pag sabihin niya na maganda, Sir, hindi niyo, ang, ang Republic Act 9211 ba po, hindi umiiral sa barangay natin? Oh. Huh? Let me give credit naman to some of the local governments. No? Oh. So, ang ginagawa nila, sinasabay nila yung uh, littering and the anti-smoking. Mm -hmm. Kasi, cigarette butts, nagiging litter yung din yan. Abo. Yeah. Oh. Hindi lang yung abo, yung butt itself. Yung butt mismo. Oh, yung upos ng sigarilyo. Um, the enforcement officers, the health officers, sanitation inspectors, and even the police at times, uh, they will tell the smoker, bawal manigarilyo dito, bawal din magkalat. No? Mm -hmm. So, minsan gagawin ng smoker, papatayin niya, tapos itatapo niya. O, violation din yan ng ordinance. Right, right, no? right. So, um, this is one way that the local governments can implement both at the same time. Mm -hmm. They don't need to do something new. Kailangan lang matalas ang mata. No? Right. And just remind people. Um, I think constant reminders. Ang kailangan sa citizenry natin is to be active also. So like you mentioned, pag nasa loob tayo ng jeep, tapos may ninigarilyo, pag walang nagsalita, well, they na. all ah, are ah, saying na tama yung ginagawa ng ah, ninigarilyo. Ah, ah. But if you complain, and you or at least make a gentle reminder, mm -hmm. uh, Kuya, ate, bawal manigarilyo dito. Most of the time, no, mm -hmm. they will put out their cigarette naman eh. Nine times out of ten, ah, okay? That's today, uh, Jerry. Uh, 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 uh. Ten years ago, ah, may pag-away ka. <laughs> but then today, uh, marami naman uh, who right. are... If they are responsible smokers, mm. they will comply naman. They right. just need to be reminded. At saka yung mga iba, since I'm, I'm not sorry to say, I have to tell you this, addict kayo eh, yung mga naninigarilyo. It's an addiction to uh, the, one of the most powerful addictive drugs in the world, nicotine. Ang nicotine po, kinocompare nila sa shabu, sa cocaine, sa heroin. It's in that category. Ha? Kaya alam mo na mamamatay ka, alam mo na makakancer ka, hindi, hindi ka titigil eh, hindi ba? Alam mo na, your second hand smoke is harming your baby, is harming your kid, your wife, your office mates. You're not gonna stop. Why? Because you're an addict. You're an addict. Period. Yung mga iba sinasabi nila, yosing yosing na talaga ako, even if they just get two hits sa loob ng mall sa jeep, maka two, three hits lang sila. Di ba? Yung giyang nila, yung addiction nila, medyo maano na. Di ba? So, ganun lang ngayon. Kung makalusot, kung mape, walang umagal, maubos nila yung buong sigarilyo, the better. Di ba? So, but we need, you know, in every, uh, sa, in every country na nagsaksid ang smoking bans and regulations, it's, all, it's also because of the vigilance of the people. Yeah. It's because of, you know, people power. Pag walang people power, pinabayaan nyo ang si Barangay Captain, si Mayor, wala mangyayari dyan. We all have to participate. When we come back, we're going to tell you about the war going on now. Uh, one of the things that we really help bring down the sales and up the awareness when it comes to uh,
the health issues of smoking, yan ang pag-uusapan natin. When we return with uh, Dr. Yul Doroteo. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or should be in the news. And if you're listening now, suerte kayo. Because we're talking about something which it could be a game changer, a life changing uh, uh, outlook huh? when it comes to health. Not only public health, the, your own health, the health of your family and your loved ones. And we have with us uh, Dr. Riel Doroteo of the Framework Control on Tobacco, Framework uh, Convention on Tobacco Control Program Director. He's in the forefront of the fight against smoking, tobacco, uh, to the tobacco industry, not only in the Philippines, but in the whole Southeast Asia and throughout the world. Sumasama po siya sa mga konferensya. I think it's been all over the world, you know, in all the continents. Pati Antarctica ba? Hindi pa naman. Okay, pero lahat. <laughs> Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Asia, you know, Australia, Antarctica na lang hindi niya napuntahan. But in all of those places, he has uh, been uh, in tobacco control conferences. Ngayon, uh, ito, correct me if I'm wrong, these are the things that could bring down the incidence of smoking. No? Una una, not necessarily in this order, is the cost of tobacco. Kung mataas ang halaga niyan, mas kukonti ang mag -yosi. Pangalawa, smoking bans and regulations. Pag pinagbawal dito, pinagbawal doon, ang taas pa ng cost ng cigarette, mangukonti talaga kahit papano ang mga naninigarilyo. And then, uh, what else would there be? Uh, uh, banning advertising and promotions. Uh, ayun, oh. uh, yun, nandun na tayo ngayon. Well, we're partly there. And then also, uh, oh. graphic health warnings on cigarette oh. packs. Ngayon, nandito ang away, ngay ang away ha? Ang, ang, ang gera ngayon nandito. Because you see these, these things, uh, ganito dapat lahat ng mga sigarilyo. Okay? Uh, can, can we show also, can we roll the pictures that I brought along yung uh, pakiroll lang natin? It, very similar to this. Ayan ha? Wait, uh, hold it lang. Ano yan? Throat so this cancer, is uh, yeah throat or neck cancer, uh, and this is a warning um, in Europe. Uh -oh. Ano ba yam? Pag ganyan na kalala, buhay pa yung tao. Mahirap Pwede. na huminga. Oh, mahirap na huminga. Mahirap okay. din mga kain. Okay, next please. Ayan, eto well quitting will improve your health, but etong isa yung Gang pa green. Gang green yan. Oh, uh, That's due to poor circulation of blood or so there's no oxygen reaching the Ano nga tawag diyan burgers disease burgers disease no? And by the way don't be surprised ang dami na po na na amputate anong parang sabi nila anong connection ng smoking sa ma-amputate ang leg mo oh. Kumisin hindi lang pa ako minsan buong leg the whole leg the Okay whole, and then uh, if it becomes really bad uh, oh. even the arms no the hands and the arms oh. um, there was uh, there are a few patients nga who have only one limb left kasi oh. naputol na lahat Okay next please uh, Mayor Duterte was, had early signs of burgers, kaya he quit smoking. Ayan, he was oh. a two-pack-a-day smoker. Ayan, it's, it causes mouth and throat cancer. And yun, we're told, we just talked about that earlier. Second Don't let smoke. your children breathe your smoke. Kaya yung mga nasa bahay nyo po, uh, if you really do not want to stop smoking, do not smoke in areas where your children or anyone else in your home will be exposed to your second-hand smoke. Pati kasambahay nyo. Please yes. lang. Next, please. Ayan. Well, it causes cancer. Again. Next, please. Ayan. Mouth cancer. You know, talaga ba nagiging ganyan, Doc? Yes. Huh? Uh, nabubulok talaga because uh, after the uh, cancer grows, oh. it becomes necrotic. So, uh, that uh, even smells foul pa nga. Eh. Pero so, ito, oh. pero ito, pag ganito, hospital na ito, hindi na natin nakikita sa kalyo ito. Hindi na. Unle well, sa Pilipinas, because of delayed uh, access to healthcare, oh. minsan, umahabot ng ganyan. Na, oh, naglalakad dahil, sa kalya, ganyan ang ayos? Uh, hindi na naglalakad sa kalya. Nagtatago sa bahay hanggang oh. sobrang lala na, saka pa lang pupunta sa ospital. Okay, next please. Well, again, lung cancer. Oh, so, you this know? is a healthy lung and an unhealthy lung. At saka isa pa ito, mga buntis. No? There are two ways. One, smoker mismo yung buntis or, or second tatay. Or, or second exposed to second hand yes. smoke so again warning if your wife is pregnant your sister you know i mean there's do not smoke around people who are pregnant and if you are pregnant pwede ba tigil niyo naman ang paninigarilyo and a lot of women tumitigil because of pregnancy yes, that's you know, a which good is good thing. Yeah. which is good next please 
Ayan. Hey guys, guess uh -oh. what? <laughs> That's also due to poor circulation. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You, you know, uh, let's put it this way. An erection is all about circulation. If you have poor circulation, you won't have an erection. Okay, so yung mga iba, impotent, you cannot perform, it's because of your cigarette smoking. So, you know, both husbands and wives should be concerned about this. Next, please. Well, ayan, you know, it's a product that costs, causes so much misery. So much misery. Huh? Yan, paninigarilyo. Next, your kids, again, secondhand smoke. And, ayan, yung mga sinasabi natin, pinag mga naninigarilyo sa loob ng kotse. Di ba? Bubuksan lang ng konti o bubuksan yung bintana. Why effect yan? All right, next please. Lung cancer. Look at the guy. Pogi in pogi. Tingin mo nangyari sa kanya. Guy Mabilis. named Brian. Look uh, at him. Three months. Patay. Okay, next please. And for pet lovers, oh, pati oh. mga alaga nyo ay apektado po niyan. Yes. Ha? Okay, so again, we're talking about secondhand smoke, triggers heart attacks. If uh, there's somebody in your home na meron ng heart condition or showing symptoms of heart Disease, huwag na kayo manigarilyo doon. At uh, you just might be the trigger for the person's death. Ngayon, uh, paano ba itong kailangan yung graphic health warning natin? How many years na ba late? Um, according to the FCTC, dapat within uh, five years. No? So, uh, within three years. So, that means uh, oh. nag-gratify tayo 2005. Dapat oh. nung 2008 pa. Lahat ng cigarette pack sa Pilipinas? Sa Pilipinas. Okay. So, we're delayed already by six years, no? Magiging seven na. So, wala tayo ni isang pack dito na may health warning. Wala, ano, may no? graphic health <coughs> warning. Kasi dati, nakalagay lang, smoking is hazardous to your health. Uh, smoking is dangerous It's to dangerous your health. It's dangerous to your health. Smoking kills. Yeah. Di ba? Mga ganon. Pero, iba yung, iba yung nakikita niya yung picture, eh. Can we, can we just stand so, on this again? For example, Jerry, no? Uh, uh, ito, This is a pack of Marlboro cigarettes. Go out to the Philippines. Okay. Actually, uh, all of these are made in the Philippines. Uh, okay. Yung mga Marlboro, gawa ng Philip Morris Fortune Tobacco. This okay. one, Break, is uh, made by Mighty Corporation. Okay. Uh, but they're all made in the Philippines. And then they're exported to Thailand. No? So these are all Thai packs. So mas, mas stricto sila sa Thailand kisa sa Well, Thailand, Thailand started uh, with their graphic warnings in 2005. Mm -hmm. no? uh, very soon after they ratified the FCTC. So ngayon, when you go to Thailand, lahat ng mga cigarette packs may graphic health warning. Ang makikita nila is this one. It's now 85% of the L front and the back of the pack. No? So dito? 85%. Ito 80, po yun. 85%. See? 85% of the front. Ha? Yung logo, ando lang oh, sa ilalim mo. Oh. 85%. So pag bumili ka ng sigarilyo, ayan ang makikita mo. This is now the world's largest. No? Okay. Um, by May this year, Nepal, uh -oh. uh, which is a small country, will have 90%. 90? 90. Uh -oh. That will become Nagtira the world's pa. largest. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, sa atin, uh -oh. we are under our new graphic warning uh -oh. law, we will have 50%. Okay. No? Pero, so this is 55% uh, po ito. No? Um, but in the Philippines, it will not be at the top, it will be at the bottom. Okay. No? So parang ganyan po siya, yung brand na sa taas and then yung picture na sa ilalim. Okay. Uh, that's a concession that was given by the Congress, by our Congress, to the tobacco industry, uh -huh. um, and it's been delayed. No, uh, dapat lumabas yung guidelines for this, the templates. Uh, uh -huh. May konting delay lang sa DOH on how to get this out. Uh, so we're hoping that uh, by the end of 2015 or early 2016. Magkakaroon na rin tayo ng graphic warning sa Pilipinas. Lahat ng sigarilyo? All the cigarette packs? Um, they will start producing it mm -hmm. and then they have another eight months to consume what is in the market. Okay. So in other words, why? <coughs> ito lang, isipin niyo po, logical to eh. Bakit mahigpit na nilalabanan ng mga tobacco companies ha, ang graphic health warning? Why are they fighting it tooth and nail sa Congress, sa media, lahat nilalabanan nila yan? Bakit? Well, effective kasi. Effective, Effective no? kasi. Kasi kung hindi effective yan, yan lang ba? Matagal na nila nilabas yan. So, can you imagine, for more than six years, seven years, the tobacco company the Philippines have been fighting graphic health warnings. Why? Because worldwide, it has been known to be effective. Basta nilabanan nila, ibig sabihin, masama sa kanila. Basta masama sa kanila, okay, sa, okay para sa mga tao. <laughs> there are, uh, siguro, Jerry, let the people yeah. know, there, there are about 80 countries now that require graphic warnings. Okay. 
So it's grown. Dati kasi nag-start ito sa Canada. So this is a pack from Canada. Nag-start sila 50% din, no? Yung top 50% lang. Uh, but now their warning has been enlarged. It's now 75%, no? So a 75% warning leaves only this bottom part, 25%, for the branding. Uh, and the companies know that it's effective. Kasi, for example, this person, babae po ito. No? Hindi po ito lalaki. Babae po ito, Nakalbuna. si Barb Tarbox. Yeah. And she developed uh, cancer, age 42. No? So she's actually younger than me. Died at age 42. So... You can imagine kung siya po ay uh, aspiring lawyer, doctor, engineer, uh, policewoman, soldier, uh, could be the next president sana, pero cut short at age 42. Dr. Yul, cigarettes have killed more human beings than bullets. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then bullets or bombs, sama-sama mo na lahat ng bala, lahat ng mga bomba, lahat ng kanyon, pati atomic bomb ng... Hiroshima at uh, Nagasaki, sama mo na lahat yan. Sama mo World War I and World War II and all the civil wars. Mas maraming pinatay ang paninigarilyo. Huh? And just during this program alone, uh, ilan yung kinumpute natin? 16,000 16, a day. Uh, 16,400 na namamatay araw-araw. One day because of smoking which totals to more than 6 million, ay, around 6 million a year. So, sa 16, uh, ilang, ilang, iyan, sandali lang, iya, ano ko lang, Dr. Yul. Sige, while, huh? while you're computing, yeah. Jerry, no? Yeah. Um, so, sa Pilipinas, we raised our sin taxes in 2012. Maraming salamat sa Pangulo and sa ating Department of Finance and Department of Health. Um, pero mura pa rin, no? Which is why we need to have the graphic warnings as soon as possible. What will happen is... Mga tao mismo, they will realize na, oh, ga ganito pala mangyayari sa akin, ganito yung pwede mangyayari sa aking bibig, ganito pwede mangyayari sa aking leeg o sa aking paa. Mm -hmm. And then they will realize na <clears throat> they should either cut down on smoking or they will also push no, for mm -hmm. higher taxes and prices. Yung ating sigarilyo ngayon, uh, even a pack of Marlboro is still 60 pesos. Murang-mura pa rin. If you divide it into 20 sticks, 3 pesos per stick. Kayang-kayang pa rin bilhin yeah. no, by even the poor smokers or even by our teenagers. Pero, pero marami na rin. Marami ang o nagbawas o, oh, yeah. or uh, nagbawas na right. or tumigil. But we want this to continue para talagang matigil na yung paninigarilyo sa Pilipinas. Uh, uh, um, and by 2017, we're up again for a possible amendment to the tax law. And we're hoping uh, na people will say na, Oo, dahil kita naman natin kung ano nangyari sa ninigarilyo, kailangan talaga taas pa natin yung presyo. Ngayon, Dr. Yul, how are our prices <coughs> compared to our Southeast Asian neighbors? Never mind the worldwide. Sa Southeast Asia, ang halaga ng isang stick or isang uh, ano na sigarilyo, how do we isang compare? Pack, no? Isang let, pack. Let oh. me uh, show you. No? So right. This is our tobacco control atlas uh, that Siatka has. It's available online on our website. So, siatka.org, or just Google na lang, ASEAN Tobacco Control Atlas. Uh, we published it just uh, last year, 2014. No? And if we look at the prices, nandito po, ang Pilipinas, a pack of Marlboro costs about $1.60. Pero ang neighbors natin, Brunei, for example, $6.47. Sa atin, $1.60. Uh -oh. Sa kanila, $6 for the same pack. Same pack, no? Okay. Uh, Marlboro sa Singapore, $9.60. Dollars? Nine dollars. Hindi Singapore dollars. Oh, US dollars to. Oh, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Alright. Oh. Kahit Malaysia, three dollars seventy. Wait, tayo ba pinakamura o may mas mura uh, sa atin? May mas mura sa atin, no? Cambodia and Laos. Oh. Pero these are countries that are less, less developed than the Philippines. Tapat, tapat natin sa Thailand. Thailand is uh, uh, about two dollars no or two to three dollars so mas mahal pa sa thailand compared sa atin okay dr yul obusa na tayo na yes. ng time we have okay. just 30 seconds to address <laughs> the people of the philippines regarding smoking okay please. uh smoking kills po second hand smoke kills also so manita po tayo mag remind po tayo sa ating mga kabayan ng nigarilyo bawal po naman nigarilyo sa lahat ng mga pampublikong lugar including mga public conveyances mga jeeps mga buses mga taxi and let's also support our government as they try to implement po yung graphic warnings. No? 
And when the time comes po na kailangan na naman itaas po ang syntaxes sa sigurilyo, let us support our Department of Finance and our senators and congressmen who are lobbying for the health of the Filipinos. Mura-mura pa rin po ang sigurilyo. So let's do our best to end the scourge of tobacco uh, in our country. Yung mga tobacco industry po, sila po ay nag-aaway ngayon, nagpa-price war sila. Uh, but that is not our business. Our business is saving lives po. Yung uh, mga buhay po ng ating mga kababayan. Uh, lastly, can you name uh, three politicians na kakampi natin? Kakampi ha, hindi kaaway ha. Congressmen and senators, nakakampi natin sa tobacco. Sige. So in the graphic warnings uh -huh. law and even in the syntax law sa Senate, uh -huh. si Senator Drillon, Senator Pia Cayetano, these were the two okay. senators. Even Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago, okay. uh, very supportive of the tobacco okay. control. So yung tatlong yung kakampi natin ha. In the uh -huh. lower house, lower house. Uh, si Congressman uh, Ungab led the syntax uh, battle. Uh, but also for graphic warnings, no, si Senator, ah, si Congressman Barry Gutierrez, uh, and also Congresswoman Lea Pakis of Angnars. Okay, with that, maraming salamat po sa ating mga mambabatas, and of course to uh, the people in the forefront of our uh, battle against uh, to, uh, cigarette smoking, si uh, Dr. Yildo Rotel. Thank you maraming very much, Jerry. So until uh, next week, I'm Jerry Cornejo. Take care. Stop smoking. I love you. God bless you.